Greetings, I am the snarky apologist, and you are hardwired into the Interocitor Report. The views expressed in the Interasa Report are solely those of the Creator, the aforementioned Creator specifically being the Snarky Apologist and not God. The host of the Interasa Report reserves for himself the right of free speech and expression of such is deemed an inalienable right from God under the First Amendment, but at no time will employ it by wildly running and shouting fire in a crowded theater, unless of course it's an incredibly stupid movie. Any characters or persons portrayed in these videos without knowledge are highly encouraged to get an education. Any reproductions or reduplications of this material without the express written consent of the originators is forcefully encouraged. So, help me God. Thank you, thank you very much. Greetings, my name is Bill and I am... Uh, the snarky apologist. This is the September 15, 2012 issue of the Watchtower, the study edition. Now, this was brought to my attention by my uh, my good buddy Phil, um, otherwise known as Wake Up Witness, and uh, which is not just a good name, but it's a great idea. Um, he brought brought this to my attention, and I want to point out something here. Let's take a look inside. Now, the article begins at uh, page 23 you know neither the day nor the hour and we are going to focus specifically on page 25 and starting at paragraph 11 we're just going to cover paragraphs 11 through 13 recall Jesus's parables of the virgins and the talents if the virgins or the slaves in those parables had known when the bridegroom or the master was arriving they would not have needed to keep on the watch, but they did not know, so they needed to keep ready. Although the anointed had for decades looked to 1914 as a marked year, they did not clearly understand what would happen. When things did not take place as they expected, it could have looked as if the bridegroom was delaying. One brother later recalled, a few of us had seriously thought we were going to heaven during the first week of that October. Just think how discouraging it could have been to expect the end and for it not to occur. Moreover, the brothers faced opposition related to World War I. A period of relative inactivity like sleep set in. But in 1919, there was a call to wake up. Jesus had come to God's spiritual temple, and a time for inspection arrived. Some, however, failed at inspection and consequently lost their privilege to continue in the king's business. It was as if they were not diligent in replenishing their supply of spiritual oil, like the foolish virgins, and like the sluggish slave, they were unwilling to make personal sacrifices for the sake of the kingdom. The majority of the anointed ones, though, showed unshakable loyalty and a strong desire to serve their master, even during the difficult war years. All right, now just to take a look at this, the, the heading of, the, of that uh, passage, anointed ones prove themselves ready, okay? Uh, on the right column, it says, a period of relative inactivity, like sleep set in. But in 1919, there was a call to wake up. All right, so now here's Jesus comes to God's spiritual temple, and for a time of inspection, a time of inspection had arrived. This is where Jesus returned, and the watchtower says, found them. You know, do it. they were waiting. They were not like the foolish virgins who had run out of oil, and they fell asleep, and the the... the you know they they were they were watching and they were um, waiting for the master's return and the, you know so um, you know they were they were really on top of their game right well no <laughs> no they weren't see that's the problem but they don't want to say that they can't say that but I'm going to prove to you that not only was the Watchtower Society not watching and waiting for the master's return. They didn't have oil in their lamps. They weren't even looking because they felt and taught that Jesus was present. Now, let me roll this out for you. We're going to look at Watchtower documentation to see if the Watchtower documentation aligns itself with the Watchtower documentation you're reading here. Or are they trying to pull a fast one over on you, which they always do unless you're a 
witnesses woken up. Okay, now we're going to take a look in the Proclaimers book on page 133. And in the highlighted yellow area by the half circle, we see from Mr. Barber, editor of that publication, Russell also came to be persuaded that Christ's invisible presence had begun in 1874. Now, you'll see that asterisk there. And you can go ahead and read that the highlighted uh, footnoted point. However, about Oh, about three quarters of the way down, you'll see where the sentence starts. A clearer understanding of biblical chronology was published in 1943 in the book, The Truth Shall Make You Free. And it was then refined the following year in the book, The Kingdom is at Hand, as well as in later publications. What are they saying here? Well, it's simply this. The first two presidents of the Watchtower Society, Charles Taze Russell, and Joseph Rutherford both went to their respective graves teaching and believing that Jesus returned invisibly in 1874. You see that was dogmatic teaching that Jesus returned in 1874. That had been held, that was the official Watchtower teaching all the way down through 1943 where it was first changed to 1914. Now, here's the deal. Was the Watchtower leadership, did they have oil in their lamps? Were they waiting and watching for the bridegroom to return? Were they like the like the virgins without oil? Well, there was no need to put oil in the lamps. Heck, we didn't even have to be watching and waiting for the bridegroom to return because he was already present. You see, common sense will tell you, you don't go looking for someone when you know where they are. Jesus was present in 1874, and that was official teaching down through 1943, one year after Rutherford died. He died in '42. 43, they released the news that Jesus actually returned in 1914 and not 1874. Well, guess what? You weren't looking during 1919. When Jesus supposedly came back for the inspection, that the watchtower is now touting that, oh, the sluggards and the drunks, no one was watching. Oh, we were watching and waiting. You know, we weren't asleep. Now, you weren't even watching because there was no need to watch. 1943 was the first inklings you had that Jesus, <laughs> that, that he had returned in 1914. You weren't looking in 1919, my friends. You missed the appointment. 